We at Weather Integrations want to make sure that you are prepared for this next round of severe weather season. So we thought it might help for you to see what are some good ideas to have in your disaster safety kit. So I'm down in my tornado shelter. It's an underground tornado shelter. That's why I sound like I'm in a cave because I essentially am. But these are some items that I have in our disaster safety kit to be prepared when the next storm strikes. So first off, I put everything in our disaster safety kit in one of those nice big plastic container bins. And that just keeps everything really nice and contained. It also keeps the spiders out. Uh, I do have to come down here at least once a year, if not more frequently, to vacuum out this place because the spiders do find it. So I really don't want to be sharing the tornado shelter with spiders when the storm's hitting. So the bins just kind of keep everything contained and protected. Some things that we have in our kit include paper towels. We have water. Now this is something really important about the water. You want to have at least one gallon per person per day. You want to plan for at least three days. Hopefully it doesn't take that long for you to be able to get resources in. But you know, if you're in a hurricane zone, honestly it may take a while. So be prepared for at least three um, days and um, have enough water for everybody in your family. Don't forget your pets. We have a dog, so we've got some extra water for her as well. And think about, especially if you're in a tornado shelter, you may have guests over at that time. So, or you may have neighbors that come over. So plan to have some extra water for them as well. We also have, and this is probably more because we are in a shelter, but we have a lantern because we thought it might get a little dark down here, especially at night. So we wanted to have that. We also have a mallet. And the great thing about the mallet, it makes nice noise to let people know, hey, we're in here. If we've got debris over and we're having a hard time getting out, they can help dig us out. I do have the shelter registered with our local police department. Check with your local police or fire department to see how you register your shelter if you have a shelter. We have some Gatorade, so we thought that might help if we get really hot. Um, we also, to help us with the heat, have a little battery operated fan. This is kind of a cool little gadget thing that we just found. Along with the water for the dog, I do have a bowl for her as well. So this is for water. And then for the dog, we have food for her. And just like I have food for the dog, we've got some food for people. Just make sure that whatever you're putting in here is non-perishable. You want to also check the, the expiration dates on these things. And this is a great thing you do whenever you are just tidying up your tornado shelter and making sure that it's nice and clean. Do that at least once a year. So check your food on your expiration and check your water on your expiration. I was actually just looking at this and go, hmm, I'm glad I got two more gallons because this expires in February of 17th. So I should have already replaced it out. Some other important items to consider because you probably will have damage. Get some work gloves and keep them in your shelter because you're probably going to have to be lifting debris off of things. Change of clothes. So many tornadoes happen at night. You don't really want to be climbing out of your tornado shelter in pajamas. So make sure you've got socks. Um, you want to have a pair of maybe old tennis shoes, something close toe. You don't want to be climbing out of your shelter with flip-flops on. So, and just change of underwear um, type of thing. Long pants is a good idea. Long sleeve shirts are also a good idea. Maybe a long sleeve tee. Um, I have extra cups in here for the water. I have batteries. Batteries, oops, there they all go. Batteries is a really good idea to have in here. A map. So we make sure that we are um, aware of, as we're listening to our battery operated radio, what, what's going on around us, when is it safe to try to come out. Remember, you can get hit by multiple tornadoes. So just because one's gone through does not mean that you're in an all clear and um, unfortunately we've had so many events where people have had multiple tornadoes go through in, in very similar areas another thing that we have is a whistle people can hear that so again if you're trying people are trying to find you that's a great way to help them find you i just keep that in the dog bowl for the dog i also have some treats for her kind of helps her keep a little bit calm and the same token if you've got kids 
think through what are some things to help them be calm as you're, you know, in the shelter trying to protect from the storm. Maybe get a small stuffed animal. Stuffed animals really bring comfort to kids, so that might be something to consider for them as well. So these are just some of the ideas that we have. This is what I have in my safety kit. You probably have some other ideas and suggestions, so go ahead and put that in the comments or email them to us. We would love to hear and share them out with everybody else because we want you to be safe and prepared for this next storm season.